Welcome back to your one-stop shop for horror. Have you watched a horror movie lately? After this video, go ahead and do that. Matter of fact, let's make this your horror movie. And speaking of horror movies, this game I'm about to play is actually inspired by a horror movie. There's something in the ice. That's the name of the game, not the movie. But what is this game even about? Eh. There's something in the ice is a first-person horror game. In 2015, three scientists at the Antarctic research station Zara drilled into the ice to a depth of two kilometers and took samples to study. As they were returning to base, a severe snowstorm began. Arriving at the base, the scientists went down to the old bunker, as the security protocol told them to wait it out. So this game is inspired by the movie called The Thing, which is like my second favorite John Carpenter film ever, right behind Halloween, of course. I'm excited. Get your snacks, your drinks. Let's do this. So it begins. The graphics look really good already. And the atmosphere, bro. The atmosphere is what's inspired by the movie called The Thing, which you guys should really go check out, man. It's a classic. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got the room. We got the casting couch. Bro, why do I got a room and stuff? Hello, big fella. What you got for me? Oh, my bad. I, I thought you was going to say something, bro. I got to read. Listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. Victor. Okay, I could choose. Are you talking about the Arctic or this Cold War bunker? Oh, there's actual like like voice dialogue. Oh, that's nice. I don't got to read a lot. Let's go. About the bunker. It's so creepy here at times. Yes, it's scary for me here too. And regarding your question, you remember that strong storm that started and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Yes, I remember. The question was rhetorical. God, in the two years with us, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor. Well, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Okay, what about those samples that we found? You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. Okay, I'll go ask. Yo, appreciate you, Victor. Hopefully you stay warm out here, bro. Hopefully you don't die. Do you need this flashlight, bro? Please let me have it. Victor, you kind of have the fit on, bro. You look like you're about to be in a, a Ford F-150 commercial. Oh, you can sprint. Oh, nice. Okay. Bro, you can play the guitar. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, the sound is insane, bro. I can already tell this is going to be a really good sound, like, sounding game. Hello. Hello, Maya. How are things going here? It's good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What do we find? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. I don't like the sound of that, because if you've seen the thing... Is it this is how it starts? What do you mean by microorganism? Looks like we found what we were looking for, Thomas. We need to examine the samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Okay. I'll go contact the Zvezda station. The storm should have reached them by now. I'll find out if they went down to the shelter. I probably said Zvezda all wrong all all wrong. I should contact the Zvezda station and see how they are doing. Okay, I got you. Uh, where's the where's the nearest phone at? Probably in here, huh? I'm gonna be honest. Oh, this right here. Yeah, this is not suspicious at all. Oh, and so is it. That's not suspicious at all. Oh, nice. Uh, Zvezda station. Zara is calling. Can you hear me? Noise. I repeat, Zvezda station. Zara is calling. Can you hear? I can hear you, Zarya. How are you doing there? Did you manage to go down to the shelter? Yeah, we're here. We're doing fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. He doesn't seem to be doing too well with this tight quarters. Who even sent him down here? Damn scientist. Well... I heard from someone that the government insisted on his transfer to the station. Well, of course they did. By the way, Ma said you guys found something interesting. I don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to figure out what we found. Okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across.
across yesterday. And you keep us informed. Over. Okay. Over. Okay, okay. Nice. So we're right now, man, it's just it's just story building. What is that, Anne Frank? Bro, come on, bro. Stop. I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. Okay, what do we do now? I guess just continue. <gasps> oh my god, bro. It's like the movie. Ah! Ah! Can I pet the dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I I can't pet the dogs? Oh my god. I can't throw the ball. I can't what? Missed opportunity, bro. Missed yo dev. Missed opportunities, man. That's a that's a big miss right there. Either you keep this locked or I can't get in there or you let me pet the dog. It's that simple. All right here, okay. Current objective. Pour some tea in the kitchen. Okay, got you. Hey, bro, leave my girl alone, bro. Leave my girl. Hello? Yo, Victor, I'm watching you. And why is your hand like that, bro? Is that your strong hand? I need to pour some tea and rest of it. Okay. So this is the kitchen. All right. How do I pour the tea? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Damn it. Wait, okay. Hang on. Sorry. Damn Sorry, it. Why is calling you? I I she's discovered something. Ah. Uh, I didn't get to read it. I'm sorry. Uh okay, Maya's calling me. Okay. My bad. I didn't get to read that. Let me get my my hot cup of tea. Bro, you scared the hell out of me, man. Okay, Maya's calling me. Maya, I am on my way. Anything for you, baby girl? Wait, this way. This way. What's good, Maya? Hey, Thomas. Hey, what's up, Maya? You just won't believe it. And you better put that mug on the table. Take a look at this. Why'd you why'd you say it like that though, Maya? Is there something that you want to tell me that you've been holding that, like on your chest for about seven years or at least since we've been in this bunker and you just been dying to tell me, but you're afraid that I might not feel the same way and, and you just don't want to potentially ruin our friendship. But in reality, like I feel the same way about. OK. Sorry, my you got me walking backwards. What is this COVID? <laughs> what did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. How was this possible? I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Do you have everything you need here? Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Agree. Okay, you keep researching. I'll go take a rest. Yo, Maya. I'm gonna go take a rest. I'm gonna be thinking of you. Oh, wait. Contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Tell them what we found, Maya. Oh, wait, Maya. Describe everything to them in detail. Congratulations, guys. Great job. I'll go take a little rest. Maybe by then the storm will be over. And then we'll think about how to send the samples to the laboratory in Hawaii. All right. I don't know what. Did I just jump? Bro, you gonna spill the tea? Get back in the bed. I need to read a book on the sofa with a mug of tea. That's an interesting uh, objective there. What is this, GTA? We got some ASMR now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? What was that? What are these sounds? I need to find the guys. Well, they're not here. Bro, what just transpired in the amount of time you took two sips and flipped two pages, bro? Maya? Victor? Are you here? Bro, I don't think they're here. Here we go. Stupid piece of... What's happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. Oh, it's probably all because of the storm. 
Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. Yeah. Okay, I'll try to fix this thing and you can do something else for now. Yo, Maya, don't worry. I got us. I'm going to take care of us. Don't you worry. Victor, you looking at my... You looking at my girl's ass? Where did y'all just run off to, bro? The dogs. The dogs. My puppers. How are you guys doing? Everything is fine? Are you bored? Well, of course it's boring here. I'm sorry, bro. The game developers aren't letting me pet you guys. Otherwise, I would, bro. I'll be in there playing ball with y'all. Oh, your bowls are empty. You guys want to eat, right? I'll bring it to you now. <gasps> Redemption? I could feed the dogs? Redemption? Okay, all right. Bring the dogs some food and feed them. Oh, my God, bro. I can feed the dogs. Let's go. I'm not as angry as I once was 10 seconds ago. I got you guys. Don't worry. I got you guys. That's the sound of just pure. Look at the bro. Look at the puppers eating. There you go. Good job, guys. Bon appetit. Soon this storm will end and we will all come out of here together. We'll breathe fresh Arctic air. We'll play in the snow again. Be patient just a little longer. Hey, bro, if y'all want, y'all can rip the bag open, bro. Just eat it. We got a bunch in the store. Just, just take care of it. I won't tell nobody, bro. It's, all, it's our secret. I'll go to the kitchen and pour myself another cup of tea. Dang, bro, you big thirsty, big thirsty McThirsty. So back to the kitchen, which is right through here. Yo! Wow. What are you going to do? I'll rest a bit, continue trying to fix the radio. That's not what I'm talking about. The radio works. It's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm. I'm talking about you and Maya. So you feel it too, Victor? I mean, you like you see it. You don't feel anything with Maya, just me and her, right? What do you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. This game is AI. Don't make this up, Vic. We are scientists and we don't have time for office romances. See, look, even, <laughs> even he did the same thing. Bro, just side-eyed me. I could tell, bro. I could feel it. Okay, well, I like her. So what? Well, why are you waiting? Life is too short. Yo, Victor, I might like you, bro, after all. I once missed my chance with a beauty from the Institute. Why did you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up. Nope. It was a very long time ago. Uh, I see. She worked with me on a project. And we seemed to get along. Then I asked her out and we had a good time. What happened next? Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. And then here. So three years have passed. Yeah. Our work is merciless when it comes to our personal lives. Yeah. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together, and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. Okay, Victor. You're right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her to see how the work on the sample's going. And maybe we could talk about something else. I'll try to cast a bait. Yeah, yes. Find out from her how things are going with the samples. And don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> Yo, Victor, you a fool, bro. What a joke you are, Vic. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. I was already <laughs> told about this. Okay, don't be upset about that girl. She's also a scientist. She understands everything. If everything went well for you then, maybe she's waiting for you. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. Those samples? Samples? In your pants? I got it! God! Alright, bro. Yo, Victor, you are a fool, brother. Alright, man, where's Maya at? Also, I don't condain... Condain? Maybe I do after all, bro. I can't seem to talk right anyway. Yo, Maya, what's good? Hey, Thomas, you won't believe it. Maya, how are you doing here? 
I discovered something interesting here. These organisms respond to light. How's that? I did a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Activity dropped sharply. But when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? What? They've multiplied. Wow! Yes, can you imagine? I kept the box in the dark just for a minute and they doubled in number. Uh, how is this possible? So they reproduce in the dark? It looks like it. And I noticed something else. What did you notice, boo-boo kitty fuck? When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. And what does this mean? Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack. Oh and, my god. And become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. Sounds interesting. I know where this is going, bro. This is this is like the movie for real. That's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. Okay, I think that's enough work for today. We did a good job. Especially you, Maya. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. It's already late. We should all go get some sleep. Maybe you and me could sleep together in our bed, on the couch, wherever you would like. And maybe the storm will be over by the morning. Yeah. I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Yeah, me too. But luckily, you have me after all. We can go cuddle and you don't have to worry about a thing. Well, okay. I'll go to sleep then. She just ignored me. Okay, I guess I'll go too. Good night and sweet dreams, Thomas. Good night to you too, Maya. Oh my God, bro. Maya she might die bro wait hang on can we say something i just want to tell you how i really feel about you but once we get out of the bunker because we're gonna make it baby don't you worry i'm extremely tired i need to go and take a nap i should have asked her for tea or something what a fool i am you really should have bro yo developers y'all should have had me right for the game bro it would have been way better Somebody's already snoring? What is that? Somebody that's just... <sighs> we got the flashlight right there, which means I'm going to need it. Oh, that's Victor. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's just three scientists. So there's no one else. It's just us three. I don't like the sound of this. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, I can't grab the flashlight. I guess I don't need it right now. This is blocked off. It got a little dark in here. What happened to the light? Probably the wiring is damp. I'll ask Victor to check. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's darker in here for sure. Bro, it's... Yo, it's really dark in here. Maya? Whoa, what happened here? Oh my god, Maya. Wait, was that... It's damn dark in there. I'm not going there without a flashlight. Oh, don't worry, bro. I know exactly where it's at. I think I saw a flashlight somewhere in the bedroom. I got you, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's the first thing I've seen. What the hell? Yep. Damn. Great. It looks like all the power's gone out. Good thing I have the flashlight. Hang on really quick. I got to check on the dogs, bro. Maya can wait. Where's the dogs? 
I'll check the radio room first. It's not letting me. I'm trying to be a good person. Zara. Is that? Huh? This is the yeah. Zvezda station. Over. Over. Zep. Calling. Repeat. Answer. Zvezda, I hear you with interference. We have some problems here with the electricity. Over. Zarya. Do you hear what we found? Very dangerous. Zvezda, hardly here. Interference. Please repeat. Over. Zarya. I'll repeat. The stone that we found. This. The remains of. Gen at. At. This. More than. Eight. Thousand. So. Years. So this is the ancient remains of an asteroid that is more than thousands of years old. Noises. Zvezda station, please repeat. Heavy interference. I cannot hear you. Zarya, be careful. Find, maybe, dangerous, that stone, which we found. It's something ancient. Right. Radiation. Right. Background can Simply colossal. Right, right, right. Your sample possibly related. Be careful. <sighs> Holy shit. Stupid old radio. Fucking storm. I can't understand shit. Well, great. Now the connection is completely lost. I think I can make out a couple of words they were saying. Something about their find... Uh, about that stone... It seems there was something else, something about radiation and danger. And also, it seems that there was the word ancient, but I could be wrong. Well, that was some kind of nonsense. I hope everything is okay there. Yo, I usually don't cuss like that, but because it was said in the game, I gotta, you know, we gotta play the part here. All right, the dogs, the dogs, the dogs. Brr, it's so cold in here. What are you, Gucci man? Oh my god, oh my god, they're alive. They're alive. Hey guys, why are you barking here? What's happened? Scare the dark? Uh-oh. Hair in my mouth. Everything is fine. Don't be afraid. Everything is fine. Oh, they're barking at that, bro. I can't get over there. I'm gonna leave this open. So that way they can leave if they need to. Bring the dogs a lamp from the room I slept in. Oh, okay, okay. There was one next to my bed. I wonder where Maya and Victor went. Let me take care of the dogs first, and then we'll worry about everybody else, bro. I like Maya, but not that much, you know? All right, we have a lamp now. Double the light. This is extra creepy. That's it, guys. Don't be afraid. Now you have more light than me. You have food and water. Be good little dogs and let me go look for Maya and Victor. All right, cool. I'm going to leave this open for you guys as well, so feel free to dip if y'all need to. Just make sure y'all come with me. Like, find me. We're all going to survive. Okay. I, I might not survive. Keep looking for Maya and Victor. Oh my goodness. Nothing in the bathroom. Nothing in there. Oh my God. What the f was that? I was reading what the game said. Hey, bro, that was a little... That was... Bro, was that a rat? Were we in New York? Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. What is this? It looks like some kind of growth. They are organic. Bro, this is nasty. I need to find the guys as soon as possible. Hey, bro, you're telling me. They're not in here. I need to check the room with the generator. I think I heard something from there. Oh, wait. Right here. Oh, my God. 
Now it's clear why the generator turns off. This thing. It's everywhere. Yeah, brother. Uh, we are in some deep-ish. <laughs> what happened to... I don't know. It's just... What was that? I didn't see anything. It is just the noise. Turn the generator on. Bro, this is making my neck, like, tingle or something. What do I need to do? Check the generator room. I'm checking it. Why is this door open? And why? where is the blood coming from? Oh. Oh, this is the door outside. Yeah, it's already in the bunker, brother. We are to... How do I leave this? Are you peeing? Or what are you doing? We're making my skin itch, bro. Continue searching for Victor and my... Go back. This thing is spreading at an alarming rate. I wonder what it is and where did Maya and Victor go? I'm starting to worry. Bro, you are telling me. I need to check the exit from the bunker. Maybe they went outside? Oh, here we go. I know where that's at. They didn't bother waking me up? Oh, no. It doesn't look like these doors are opened. They can't be opened at all. Snow flew into the cracks between them and froze. Welp. <sighs> Looks like we're going to die down here. What? My objective is, what is this? <laughs> yeah, it's a flooded basement. Victor got got, bro. Victor got got. Zara, over. I repeat, Victor got got. Zara, over. I need help, Houston. We have a problem. Victor, or Zara, over. Am I stuck? Come on. Oh. Open, bro. Did something just attack me? Ah! Something's biting my ankles. I gotta crouch. Ah! Go, go. What the was that? It seems like something bit me underwater. That's what I'm saying, bro. There's a demon in there, bro. You're not gonna. I mean, I guess what can you do, really? Check the dogs. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's growing everywhere, bro. Wait. Why are they barking again? Oh, wait. Oh, they're over there. I went the wrong way. The dogs are barking. Oh, my God. No, bro. Please, no. No. 
What was that? You see that thing in the vents? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my god. Oh. No, no, no! Leave them! Shit! No! Fuck! Fuck! No! God! Please, no! I had to get into it, bro. This is like the movie for real, and I don't like how this is... Okay. So, our, our buddies are gone. I had a weird suspicion that that would happen. Yeah, they didn't even eat their food, bro. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Something dragged the dogs to the ventilation. That's what I'm saying, bro. We've seen it. Try to contact the Zvezda station. All right. Uh, where do I even go from here, bro? I'm sad. My heart is broken. Bro, these are making some nasty noises, bro. Station, Zvezda, Zarya, calling. I don't know if you can hear me, but we have an emergency here. Two of my team are missing, and I can't find them. And also, there's some kind of evil here. It seems something killed our dogs. There's some strange organic substance everywhere. Zvezda, please answer. I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, please, please, answer. They're not answering, bro. We are officially on our own. Get out of the bunker. That's my objective. I need to get out of here. This thing is already everywhere and spreading very quickly. And what did it do to the dog or what it did to the dogs? God, I'm over it. Yeah, bro, me too. There's a powerful antenna, something. Uh, wait, what did that say? Huh? A powerful antenna where? I have when you get scared, the flashlight turns off. I'm gonna need it to stop because if I get scared in real life, I'm not gonna turn off the flashlight. So please stop it. So did you guys remember when it said it eats, like it feeds on smaller organisms and it grows did y'all just hear that thing if you watch me with headphones you're my best friend cause uh oh my god bro it's making dog sounds now bro it's going oh my god bro where is there a strong antenna? I don't... Where? I didn't get to read everything. I need to clear away this snow. I can't do it with my bare hands. It seems there is a shovel in the bunker somewhere. Somewhere near Maya's laboratory. Okay. Find the shovel to clear the snow. All right. We're making progress now. You got to speed run this, y'all. Oh my God, look, it's growing more. What? Oh, right here. Great, now I need to clear away the snow and get out. Hey, bro, that thing was every bit of eight feet tall, bro. I need to hurry up. I don't want to be here any second or any longer. I think I hear dogs. Are they alive? Yeah, they, they're alive, bro, but not in the way that you think. Let's go. It's cold. The storm doesn't seem to subside. Yo, we're outside. This is fire. I need to try to contact the Zvezda station on the radio, but when we left the base, we closed all the doors except for the recreation room on the first, the first, the recreation room on the first floor. The keys must be there. Sorry, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm a little antsy now. Oh. 
Hang on. On the first floor? Yeah, they're signal light. They're flares. It's locked. It's on the first floor. Yo, where's the door at? Hey, it seems safe in here, bro. I like it. Over right here. Here it is. All right. Hey, can you hear me? Please, somebody. Uh, Victor, where have you gone? I woke up and you weren't there. There's some crazy shit going on in the bunker. Something took the dogs away. They're gone. Thomas, is that you? God, I'm so glad to hear you. Listen, I need help. What happened? Where are you? I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. Okay, don't move. I'll be right there. Okay, I'm waiting. Please hurry. We not we not doing all that, bro. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, we have the walkie-talkie. There's a hangar over there. Okay, it, uh, let's just. I'm gonna have to go this way. What the? There's a light and it seems like someone's knocking on the door. That's what I'm saying. I. Okay, let's go. Maybe it's Maya. Maya needs me, y'all. Victor, please let me out. Victor, <laughs> open up. What's gotten into you? Maya? What's happened? Thomas? Is that you? Yo, why is she... Yes, it's me. Why are you locked? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely. Tried to attack me. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. Oh, no. It's happening, bro. Victor might be infected, y'all. What do you mean? Did he attack you? Yes. He chased me all over the bunker. But I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me and locked me here in the lab. What the fuck? For what? Why? I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Are the other doors also closed? How can I get you out? Yes, he closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Maybe there are spare keys to the lab in the break room. Maybe. I'll go look. Are you okay here? Yes, I'm okay. But hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Okay, don't be afraid. I'll be right back. All right, man. Go to the hangar and help Victor. What the hell's going on here? Maya seems to be safe. I need to help Victor. He should have the keys to the laboratory, and at the same time, I'll ask him about the situation. Hey, bro. Yeah, Victor, he might be a goner, bro. Uh, how long do I have to wait for you, Thomas? I think I'm getting worse. I'm on my way. Listen, I met Maya. Locked in a laboratory, and I'm very interested in what happened to you two. She said you chased her and then locked her in the lab? What the hell? Don't trust her. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried to either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold, just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobiles before waking you up, but... Stuck. Okay, wait. I'll be there soon and we'll figure it out. So, like the movie, it was a whodunit type of thing going on. So, they start to act strangely and then you have to kind of, you're, you're, you have, yeah, there's like a whole vetting process thing that happens to figure out if someone's infected or not. So, that's what it looks like is going to happen here. Here we go. Hope everything is okay with Victor. Bro, you can get you you lazy as hell, bro. You can get I mean you are kind of bleeding a lot. Finally. Fuck, Victor. There's a lot of blood here. What happened? Ah, you sure know how to calm me down. I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles, and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Ah, why are they so heavy? 
Yeah, I don't know. We were never told what they were storing in that hangar. Okay, what happened with you and Maya? Do you really want to fucking talk about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Okay, how do I do this? This box looks heavy as hell. I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. Like a long metal piece. Ah, bring it. Maybe this way you can lift the box and I'll try to get out. Okay, I'll Hurry. look for it. I can't feel my legs anymore. Yes, yes. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, where's it at? Bro, it's so dark. Uh, Find a crowbar or a long metal stick to help Victor get out. What the? Bro, it's moving through the tunnels. Got it. Victor? What the f is going on here? Ah! What the f Oh! That's all that's left of Victor, bro. That's crazy. I need to find the keys and get Maya out of here. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go. We got to go. We got to wait. Wait, wait. Where are the keys? The keys? What are you? Oh, right here. Oh, God. Sorry, Victor. You won't need the keys anymore. <laughs> bro, clearly. Oh! Uh, we got to go. It's scattered the box. I need to find another way around. Maybe there's a passage somewhere between the boxes. Yeah, bro. It's called jumping over this, bro. You can't jump four feet in the air. to free Maya as quickly as possible and then contact this Vesda station and call her. Maya's light is on. It's very bright. She can attract this thing. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We got to go. Turn off the light, Maya. Please turn off the light. Oh! Hey, bro. Square up with it, bro. I'm gonna die, bro. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I sold. I should have ran past it to begin with. Go, 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 go. What the f is that, bro? You I don't Go, 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 go. What the f Her door is open. Psst. Maya, are you here? Whoa! I'm not afraid anymore. I can't even go in there. Go to the radio room on the second floor. Okay. No, wait. Other, other side, other side, other side. Oh, wait. Here's the radio room. There's a large antenna on the roof of this building, so the signal should be better. Okay. So what now? I got to find... Wait. Baby girl! Maya, I thought he devoured you. How did you... I managed to escape just as he broke through the I'm room. trying to see you. What is this creature? I have no idea, but I saw something strange in the bunker. At first, I saw something that looked like a worm. Then I noticed that in the room from which it ran, out some growths appeared. It seemed organic. Growths? Yes. Then I decided to look for you and notice he's gross in the other rooms too. And then the dogs. What about the dogs? They... They're dead. Something dragged him into the ventilation. Oh my god. Yeah. What is this? What exactly is going on here? Why haven't we kissed yet? When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. 
so I decided to go and do a couple more tests. It haunted me that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. I started watching them again. I wish I could I see her, bro. To go have a cup of tea. And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently, I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. So, Maya, you caused this? God. Maya. What? I didn't do it on purpose. Anything can happen. Anyway, we have a whole block of ice with these samples. Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. What happened? Why did Victor attack you and chase after you? When I woke up, I went to the toilet, and Victor was there. He just stood there, looking in the mirror. You know, like a zombie. And next to him, I saw an overturned bucket with a rag, and it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime. What the fuck? <laughs> so I asked Yo, Victor, I'm cussing too much. I don't like it. Lord, forgive me. When I came closer, I saw his empty gaze. He turned to me, but it was like he was looking through me, you know? And then what? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker, there was a way out. I was so scared. I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not, Victor but ran okay. after me, caught up with me at the base and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like something was controlling him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. That's for sure. Then he left, as if he heard a call. He walked toward the hangar, and after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him. Together, we can handle him. Tie him up, call for help. We can't do this. What do you mean we can't do it? Victor is dead. What? How? What the hell? This thing killed him. I tried to help, but I couldn't. Damn. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? I don't know, Maya. And to be completely honest, I don't even know. I don't even. <laughs> I don't know, Maya. And to be completely honest, I don't even want to know. All I want is to get us. All I want is to get us out of here. So let's get out of here. What's the plan? We need to try to contact Zvezda Station. The antennas here are much more powerful, so we can easily contact them. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Yes, we will contact them and ask them to take us out of this hell. What about this creature? The two of us definitely can't handle it. Let's not act like heroes. We'll just call for help, and then we'll tell them what happened here, and then let them decide what to do. Okay, that sounds reasonable. There is no electricity, but we can try to power the radio from batteries. So I'll go to the hangar to get them, and you stay here. It'll be safer that way. And Maya, if anything happens to me... Hey, nothing will happen to you, okay? Am I about to confess my love for you or what? Yes, okay. Be here. Barricade all the doors, and for the love of God, don't turn on the light. Looks like the light attracts him. Like, uh, okay, bulls to a red flag. All right, okay. I thought so. I was thinking that. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So, find two batteries in the hangar to connect the radio to them. So, we got to kill the flashlight as soon as we see them. I'm going to kill it now. This creature is somewhere nearby. Yeah, it's over here, bro. Somewhere. You guys, I can't really see, but I'm doing my best. Oh, my God. Whenever he's near, bro, I got to I gotta kill the light. Kill the light now. We know we need to go straight here a little bit. Man, I'm not afraid, bro. There we go. Here it is. 
But I got two batteries. Is that it? Now I need to take these batteries to the radio room and plug the radio into them, and then we can finally call for help. You left me, Thomas. Uh, that was Victor. That was Victor talking. Bro, the the It's an ancient organism, bro. It's like cursed. It ate the dog, so now it's gonna have dog-like features. And then it's gonna be it's gonna have a voice now because it ate Victor. Oh, there it is right there. I don't think y'all can tell, but I can tell. Walk back, go back, go back, go back, go back the other way, go back the other way. Go back the other way, bro, please. Go, go, go. What? Where's Maya? Where's Maya? I forgot where Maya's at. Radio room, radio room, radio room. Oh my God. Barely escaped. Maya, I found the batteries. Now I'll connect them and we'll con con okay, contact the guys. Thomas, there are samples left in the laboratory on the third floor that we examined. We must take them with us so that we can study them properly in more suitable conditions. I know you're mad right now, but what kind of scientists would we be if we didn't take these samples with us and study them properly? We must understand what it is. We have to. P.S. Contact the guys from Zedda and I'll and I'll, uh, for help, <laughs> and uh, and I'll be there soon. Right? I say Zedda. Or, uh, okay. Anyway. Fuck. Maya. Stupid. We need to get rid of this crap. Not take these samples with I'm us. Dead of her. Did he say I'm dead because of her? Bro, still talking. Vezda, <laughs> Zed, bro, Vezda, how, how can you hear me? This, this is Zara. Thomas, is that you? What the hell is going on over there? Maya said that you and Victor died, and now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? You sound like Hank Hill, bro. What? Wait, what? Why does she say that? What? When? Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was crying. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked you and her. She said he fucking killed you. Then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. After that, we tried again to contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. Damn. Vesda, there's some real fucked up going on here. <laughs> it it, it just says, anyway, it looks like there was something in those ice samples we found. Maya said it was some kind of ancient microorganism. I don't know how, but they evolved very quickly. Now, this is no longer a microorganism, but a full-fledged monster running around our base. And it killed Victor. That sounds crazy, Thomas. Seriously. Are you trying to make jokes there? Fuck! This is no joke! It fucking tore Victor to pieces! Dragged the dogs to the fucking ventilation! The whole bunker is overgrown with some kind of organic matter, and I have no idea what the hell this is! Please get us out of here. Please, I repeat, this is not a joke. Okay, everything will be fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? No fucking way I can calm down. Yes, me and Maya. She's waiting for me in the laboratory upstairs. So Maya is alive? Yes, here I am, Maya, in this terrible monster. Okay, calm down, Thomas. Stay safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. In what fucking sense? Within half an hour? It takes about 10 minutes to fly here by helicopter. I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. Exactly. Fucking storm. Sorry. There's so much going on here that this storm doesn't seem like a problem. I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? I understand, Zvezda. <laughs> I understand, Zvezda. Waiting for you. Please hurry up. I don't know how long we can hide from this creature. Over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's fun to say, though. Okay. Um, now what? She's a liar, Thomas. 
she's a liar, Thomas. He said that Maya radioed him and said that Victor killed me. But that's not true. Why did she lie to them? That's what I'm saying, bro. I think, see. It's the, it's the, it's la toxica, bro. She's toxic. She's, she, domestic violence. Bro. Where did she go? She's one of them. I need to go upstairs to check if Maya's okay and hurry up. The guys will be here soon. Bro, you don't hear her walking? At the same time, I ask her why she said that Victor killed me. Light out, light out, go. Yo, clearly Maya's into this stuff, bro. Because she was the one examining all of it. She had access to the, the, the slimy stuff, all that. Oh my god. Maya? Uh, Maya! Oh! Why the fuck did you come here alone? Why did you need these samples? I told you to stay away from me! Fuck! Maya! Fuck! Now what, bro? Now what? Now what? Now what? We out here, bro. I'm, I'm alone. Solo dolo, bro. Lone wolf, bye. She'll never know how I felt about her. So loud. No fucking way. I won't wait here for my death. I need to get out on my own. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I need to check the fuel in the snowmobiles and find the keys to them somewhere. Maybe Victor had them when he... When he died. Okay, we gotta check the snowmobiles. This is so loud in my ears, bro. I'm sorry if I'm yelling at y'all right now. There's more dogs. Is that dogs? Are they alive? Empty. Empty. Oh, okay, okay. I gotta check each one. Each one. Empty. All right. Now what? Go back to where he's. And nah, I'm not checking the dogs, bro. I'm checking the keys. There's no fuel needed some mobiles, so I'll have to find some. Surely, it was somewhere in the hangar. There were mini canisters there. All right. Where's that creature at now? Also, I need to find the keys to the snowmobiles. Victor probably took them with him when he went to get fuel, which means the keys are there too. Uh, Victor, technically, I didn't, I didn't want you to die. I tried to save you, but you died before I could get the, the thing that, to lift the thing off. Yo, Maya was on some weird stuff, y'all. Maya was the, uh, the imposter, bro. This is Among Us. Here we go. My God. Poor Victor. Yeah, he got... Bro got ate up, for real. Fuel. Can. Okay, fuel can. Check. Snowmobile keys. Check. Okay, let's go. Now I need to fill up the snowmobile here and get the fuck out of here. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Let's go. Y'all, again, please. Did they say run? Oh! Go, 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 go. Uh, like I was saying, y'all, please excuse my language. I typically do not cuss like this. I am relatively PG-13 with the splash of like some funny, what I think sometimes is funny sexual in, in the windows or whatnot. I am safe to watch around the family most of the time. Okay. Can I drive the boat?
Let me go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go! Bro, you better take off! What are you doing? Oh, I can drive? Oh wait, no I can't. Go, go, go! Bro, hit the gas, bro, hit the gas! I wish I could see all this. But I think the game was designed like that, you know? So you're saying that you were scratched by something underwater in the basement, right? Oh my God, bro. Something bit my pinky toe. I don't care about that. Did you listen to what I said? This damn thing killed Maya, Victor, and all the dogs. We need to fucking burn everything that was on the base so that this monster doesn't get out. We do realize that we need to ask you about what happened, right? It's our job. Yes, sure. Sorry, so much has happened. And thanks for getting me out of here. No problem, Mr. McReady. Okay, we'll continue later. Okay. So now what? Ah, uh, my head. Bro, am I growing tentacles or what? Sorry, I had to get a thumbnail. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. How do you feel, Thomas? Uh, I'm okay. Just a little headache. You gonna ask me anything else, bro? Let me out. Stuck? Who are you? Where am I? Don't worry. Everything is fine. You better get some rest. Ah! What the fuck? Bro. Yo, what what is that, bro? Turn the light off. Something here with me? <laughs> ah! What is this? What is going on right now? I have no objective. <laughs> It'll all be over soon? Oh my god, bro. Am I turning into- I'm turning into that thing, bro. Dang, bro. Oh, it's the camera. We're watching from the cameras. Where am I at? Thomas, are you okay? 
Oh, that's me. the thing that we seen in the hangar towards the end with the teeth all around it so yeah no more thomas the end good or bad this is the end thanks for playing <laughs> okay interesting that really makes me want to watch the movie though i'm not gonna lie obviously the movie is much much better but this i think it did a pretty good job at uh paying homage to the film the thing which if you haven't seen it do yourself a favor and go check it out. It is a classic movie from one of my favorite directors, John Carpenter, who did my favorite Halloween movie of all time, which is Halloween, the original Michael Myers. So go check it out. That was uh that was fun. It was it's it was like refreshing because I've been playing a bunch of like anomaly based games. So for me to kind of jump into a genre that I really, really love, which is like sci-fi horror, uh it, it was it was refreshing and that felt great to play. There was some rough patches and whatnot. But for four dollars, this game was it, W game. I really enjoyed it. I want you guys to tell me what you think down below. But while you're on the channel, go check out some more content that's gonna pop up right here any second. And then just remember, don't go into any bunkers, especially in the middle of a snowstorm, in the middle of nowhere, unless you're like a scientist, which you have to. But just please, just leave the slimy organisms and whatnot alone bro please do us a favor because that's what happened four years ago if you know what i'm talking about you know then they got leaked that's the whole goodbye <laughs>